Hey, it's Matt Sparks, and today I got the first ever vacuum engine powered GBC module. And at first I started off with a small vacuum engine. Um, for this theme, I just used a steam engine as my model. And it is a two by two piston, which is about this big. It is round, it is really realistic. It has a governor, it has pulley systems, it has a horse head long crank on it. And I have a simple conveyor going up to an exit top here. And everything is up to standard too. You got the regular 10 studs high um, bin, eight by eight area for the input. And the output is about right where it needs to be at. And um, it's more just experimental. I'm not actually been using this in a GBC type um, convention, but I think it is pretty cool and neat. I'm gonna put it on YouTube for the time being. So all the realistic stuff that I have in this thing right now is, um, of course you see all the pulley systems in it. And then you have a saw that's in here. You got a little, what do they call it? It's like a stamp mill or something. Back in the days, in the 1800s, they put iron ore in there. And then um, whenever this turned over, it lifts up through a cam, these little uh, axle things, and it smashes the ore into smaller bits. Then you have a flywheel, of course, big old flywheel. I try to make this thing look as like, you know, 1800s industrial as I can be. You know, you got the pillars, you got the nice angled tapers on there. You got all wood type tables up here. You got chains to, you know, secure everything off. You got, you know, the head bolts on there. You got the open gearing right there. You got the pulleys. I mean, everything is pulley drive, um, except a little gear in there, but even then, behind there is a pulley. So, everything is pulley drive, even like the, you know, excavator you can count as a pulley. But anyways, so without further ado, we're going to uh, test, test this out real quick. See here is a little, you know, drive line there. All realistic type things there. Pretty cool. So this particular model with everything all included, the GBC part, the vacuum engine part, and all these little accessories, probably accumulates to a whole month, maybe two months worth of building and experimenting. And, um, this thing exploded all the time. Like, like the pillars here would just fall over and it would just be a complete mess, especially if you take into account all these rubber bands and everything. Um, probably the most frustrating part about this thing is the uh, belt drive because these belts, they don't have any like guides to them, you know, there's no like pulley that you know itself, like look over here, that pulley has like two lips to it here, but these are just flat and so they'll just walk off, the, the belt has no like guides to them just walk off and I've had that happen multiple times on this pulley right here and um, in order to provide this much power I had to uh, do a lot of work on this engine I had to make a longer stroke I had a four long stroke as you can see it is uh, a lot of, a lot of travel it's a uh, one stroke so it uh, has power sucking in and sucking out and um, Everything here is pretty easily can be turned over. Um, you'd be surprised if you just move this here. Everything just freely turns over. Um, especially I have a gear reduction from there or a pulley reduction from there to there and another pulley reduction from there to there and then a gear reduction going to this bear. Everything is um, 
very you know, counter to as far as power goes. And um, yeah, so that's about everything. I tried my hardest to make everything all you know color matching and um, you know black and white and some purple as you can see. And some parts I couldn't really change much color, like the yellow parts here. But with that being said, that'll be the conclusion of this video. If you liked it, please give me a like and subscribe for more vacuum mentioned content. The next one is gonna be a V8 that's gonna be from the past. I'm gonna do a whole video about that and how it uh, explodes all the time, so yeah, see ya.